Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. So some updates for the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are on their bye week right now, but definitely plenty to discuss when it comes to that Cowboys game on Sunday night. A few other things, a few other updates as well I kind of want to go over as well. So let's get straight into it. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. What is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So the Philadelphia Eagles updates, rumors, and obviously talking about this Cowboys game we just had on Sunday. Um, Jonathan Gannon did have his press conference. I kind of want to go over that very lightly with you guys because he kind of did talk about why the Eagles are still doing what they're doing in the second half. I mean, we're not even talking about the offense. We're just talking defensively right now. Why they take their foot off the gas. Why, you know, you only blitz three times in that Cowboys game. Three times, that's it. No stunts, no blitz packages, no nothing. Just dropping back, being cautious, not giving up the big play. And uh, Gannon kind of said that, you know, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I forgot what game it was. It was probably a couple weeks ago. And I remember Gannon said at a press conference that they're not playing aggressive, um, which helps them not play aggressive when they have big leads in the second half is because they don't want injuries which is kind of stupid. You have to play football. I mean, injuries are just a part of the game. I understand you want to be careful, and I respect that, but at the same time, you still got a game to play, and nothing is safe when you have, you know, a 14-point lead, a 21-point lead, whatever the case may be. I mean, you're you're not safe, um, and that was a couple weeks ago when he said that, and I was kind of like, yeah, I totally get it, but I, you, you can't play like that every single game, and yet they've been doing it every single game. So when Gannon was talking about, um, you know, building on these leads that we're taking and why the Eagles are doing what they're doing defensively, and, and Jonathan Gannon's case is not playing aggressive, um, there is a huge problem here to where this is how he wants to run his defense. From what he explained, you know, we still got to adjust. We still got to play football. And pretty much what he's saying is we're, we're pretty much going to do the same thing we've always been doing in these games. I... I I still don't get I, – I, I get what they're doing, but why do you want to do this every single game? I just I, – I, to me, I just don't get it um, because all the Cowboys did Sunday adjustment-wise, obviously the Lane Johnson, him being gone definitely affected us in some way. But, you know, they double teamed on Fletcher Cox. They double teamed on Javon Hargrave at the same time, left the running back one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker because they had – a lot, you know, they were more aggressive with the run in the second half. And yeah, it was, you know, we did, we didn't tackle well. Zeke was running all over us. Pollard was doing a good job on us. So, I mean, they had a lot of trust in their running backs to break tackles and uh, get through open space. And they double teamed both for their, our, our defensive tackles. And with our linebackers all the way back, our corners all the way back, we were just giving them yards. Surprisingly, in the third quarter, we wasted seven, eight minutes, which I was shocked. Um, you know, we've done that the past couple games, wasted a lot of, you know, a lot of time in at least one quarter in the second half, but it's not how you play, man. Like I, I don't like the way they're, you know, that's the one thing that's making me nervous because I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a game that we lose this year because they're going to be in a lead and a team is going to catch up and they're going to pull a big play on us, whether it's not over the top, whether, you know, they're they're just going to get a lot of yak yards, and I think that's going to be a big problem going down the road. So Gannon really didn't explain it perfectly of how and why they're doing it, but I know why they're doing it. They're doing it for less injuries. They're doing it so they're wasting time off the clock. You're tackling inbounds, you know, and – that's it, but you're giving too many respect, too much respect to these quarterbacks. Like three blitzes is all you do against Cooper Rush. I just, I just don't get it. So they're going to do this every game. I don't think they're going to change this. I don't, I don't think they're going to change this at the at the rest of the season. I don't think they're going to change this if we hit the playoffs. I don't think they would change this if we even hit a Super Bowl this year. Not saying we're going to, but I don't think. I think whatever's working for Gannon, and obviously it has been working, but. Is Nick not talking to Jonathan Gannon about how he's running this defense in the second half? Because I do not like it. Still don't like it. I mean, really, one of our the biggest threats, I'm not the biggest threats of this football team is ourselves, which is our defense, which is our lackluster second half play, which is going to bite us in the ass when it gets the chance to. You know what I mean? Like, look what happened on special teams. Like that on top of 
you know the you know the Cowboys with Turpin running to the forty our forty yard line before the half gave him a three points that we just gave away easily. And then on top of everything else, you run basic plays on offense. You run your basic defense with everyone pulled back. There's no pass rush. Your defense is getting tired when the Cowboys are running over and over again. And you're hoping to God that we make stops. Thank God we have good cornerbacks. Thank God our secondary is stout. So there really is no answer Jonathan Gannon gave us that was anything different than what he said before. He tried to clarify, but, you know, this is the way they want to run this defense from what I heard. I mean, that's it. I mean, there wasn't anything different that Jonathan Gannon said that he's going to change things up. Obviously, it depends on how many points they're, you know, they're leading, but at this point, it's just never going to change, and I kind of just have to – like I said, the only way this, this team fails this year is the coaches because the Eagles have – just imagine what this team – the points that this team – and this is the next conversation I want to get into – just imagine if the Eagles played the first half of games going into the second half. Just imagine that. I definitely think four out of the six games we played this year, we could have scored over 40 points. And every time we run into fans of other teams that played us, oh, they're under, the Eagles are undefeated. Well, we got back into that game easily. The Eagles have let these teams come back into these games. The Eagles have taken their foot off the gas, and they have just let them, let them get points on us until – we have done a good job on managing time, time of possession, and obviously wasting time off the clock, offense and defensively. But how long is that going to last? So I kind of want to go over that because I thought that was uh, pretty important. Now, there, now we did, he did talk about Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. If you guys remember, played a lot of nickel for the Saints and obviously wanted to change positions to safety uh, because safeties get paid more money than nickel corners, apparently. So um, he wanted to switch to safety. The Saints wouldn't switch him, and I don't know if he well, he's the one that asked for a trade or nothing was just going on and, you know, they just decided to call the Eagles or the Eagles were just very interested at the time. So since Garner, you know, uh, Garner Johnson has been a safety for the Philadelphia Eagles, he's had to get acclimated to this defense because he hasn't played much safety. Like I said, more nickel than safety he's ever played. So being a full-time safety is definitely different for him. And I think it's just taken time every single week. Um, and I think that Garner Johnson's going to be very expensive at the end of the season. I think that's one thing we have to – another conversation we're going to have is how much money is he going to want because he's already got three picks in two games already. You know, Gate went out with a hand injury during the Cowboys game, and I was like, man. And then we saw Kavon Wallace in there. We wanted to – you know, we were going to shit the bed or something. And then he came back, got another pick with a messed up hand. Um, whatever it was, but it seems like he's going to be okay. But um, just want to state the fact that he is getting better and might ball out, probably will be getting to the Pro Bowl this year and will cost a lot of money. So we have to look at that as well. But it's great to have a guy like Garner Johnson because with him, he reminds me of a Malcolm Jenkins type piece that could play nickel and that could play uh, safety as well. So you can move around the field. Just imagine if you add a little bit more depth to that safety spot behind Epson Garner Johnson, take out Kavon Wallace, Reed Blankenship. If he gets his shot next year, you know, you could have, if you have good depth and, and could put somebody next to Marcus Epps, that's reliable. You can move Garner Johnson and use him as that. Like I said, that move around type of, you know, Malcolm Jenkins piece and really do some damage to teams. Uh, which would be a really good thing. So that's pretty much all I have on Gannon, kind of what he said. Obviously, he talked about other things, but um, the defense going forward and how they, you know, how they're treating these uh, these quarterbacks and how they're just treating these players in the second half and how they're using them is it, it really bothers me a lot. Uh, I just feel like we're just taking hits and we're just letting teams get yards and get points on the board, and it's just it's just not great to me. Um, but we kind of, and the next thing I want to talk about real quick is, you know, the Eagles didn't really throw deep in this game at all Sunday. Like, why aren't they throwing deep? Why is Quez Watkins the past couple games not getting any looks besides the one little toss that Hurts had when he was getting pressured and he kind of flip-flopped the ball to him on the left sideline? I mean, that was really it for no yards. It was behind the line to scrimmage. But why isn't Quez Watkins getting more of a chance here? I mean, he's our legit, you know, speed guy. Uh, for vertical, you know, that's our deep threat pretty much for this team right now. Not even Zach Pascal got 
Zach Pascal didn't even get any any snaps as well. He usually gets one to two catches a game, really, and that really didn't happen either. I'm not I'm not trying to nitpick, but I'm just kind of explaining why Quez hasn't really been in the game plan at all, which kind of makes me a little nervous. But there were two plays where I think the Eagles were going to throw downfield. Devontae Smith, I mean, Trevon, Trevon Diggs got burnt like I don't know how many times. Thank God, you know, the Cowboys, you know, thank God for him. The Cowboys had some good pressure on both of those plays. One to A.J. Brown, one to Devontae Smith real deep. And by the time they got open, it was just too much pressure on Hurts. He couldn't throw the ball. The second one to A.J. Brown, I think he was moving to his left, and he was already getting chased. There was no way he was throwing that ball on the angle he was running, um, scrambling to the left side. So that pass wasn't going to happen. So we tried throwing daggers because there were times where even when we got those two picks, we scored two field goals out of it, and we were tiring the Cowboys' defensive line out. you got to take shots you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't mind just to take some shots here, you know, and look, and then, like I said, you know, second half, totally different story. They strayed away from mid-tier, middle-of-the-field passes, which I don't know why they did, but the one thing I'm happy about is they were uh, moving the running backs around. I thought they, they really used all the running backs really nicely in that game. They kept everybody fresh. Um, you know, a lot, you know, Jack Stahl got involved. Goddard probably could have gotten involved a little bit more. So, I mean, look, the, the options are endless with this offense. You talk about a read option, RPO type offense with Jalen Hurts. He does it so well. Um, and he's faked me out. He's, he, you do the eye test with this offense. Sometimes I think the ball's getting handed off when I don't even know he has the ball in his hands. That's how crazy this offense could be. So, like I said, I have no problem with them not taking any deep shots, but there were two wide open shots here, but obviously the pressure was there, so he couldn't get those done, which I did I did see these on Twitter as well. So, um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Obviously, the trade deadline uh, in a few weeks. Um, we're going to go over that this week with a few players. And, um, you know, what did you think of the Cowboys game? Do you think the Eagles need to make changes? What do you think of the second half defense? Um, and what Gannon said, his comments of really saying absolutely nothing that really changed my mind that he's going to do anything different. I think they like what they're doing. And if the Eagles keep winning this way, why would Nick go up to him and say, hey, we need to change this? You know what I mean? So I totally get it. But there's got to be a little bit of concern on, you know, pulling these guys all the way back and, and letting these offenses get too many yards on us. And obviously the adjustments are every time an offense makes an adjustment, we don't make the adjustment back. It's like we stay the same as we have. And obviously adjustments are made by the third quarter when we're wasting seven, eight minutes offensive play and wasting that much time. But, you know, the defense could be our downfall when it comes to not because of personnel, because of how they're using, how Gann is using, you know, all these players to their, and they're not using them to their strengths. So we got pressure when pressure was needed, but I think we could have done a little bit better. I mean, this, that's how it is every week, every week. I'm expecting us to play in the second half like this, which I, I don't like it. Cause it gets me way nervous, way too nervous. So other than that guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Chicks. What up? Follow slide. Peace out guys. Peace.